Oh god! Oh, shit! Oh, oh god! Oh, oh dear! Jesus! Oh god! Guys, guys, please go back if you can! Oh Jesus! Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh, oh Jesus! Secured here, and it was free swinging. You really need to pull it to take it out of the hinges when it's secured open. It was like a car crashed, and I can say that it cracked our hole. Just checking that we're not taking on any water. now my heart rate has gone back to almost normal but look at this it, it, the boat impacted us with both of the hulls so this bit here and we cracked a lot of things oh. oi, oi, oi. Now all our plans are up the window. We have to get a boat out here. Pull it out. The insurance company said we can't leave the boat because they don't know if, if there is any damage to the boat that will compromise the boat sinking or anything. Yeah. And they say our policy is that you can't leave the boat until a professional comes in and assess that it's not or you haul her out until yeah. they figure it out. Yeah we just had a first look at the damage properly and the gentleman from the other boat came around as well I called the emergency number of our insurance and they gave us all of the instructions yeah so we, we're exchanging details and we also have a neighbor who witnessed everything another boat that was anchored in front of us um, it, it looks like their steering cable or one of the steering cables broke and uh, yeah there was just not enough time for the gentleman the captain to to do anything and 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 we be, we believe he probably even put the boat um in forward because he wanted to turn but but he couldn't turn so he just accelerated and yeah i was i was downstairs when it happened and it felt it felt like a car crash several was things it? fell over and we believe it was the gear cable i think it, 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 it got stuck yeah. and then he couldn't do anything and he panicked and then he went forward and and he hit the boats dead on yeah on the boat head. with with both holes and yeah and it hit the bulkhead, bulkhead in the one of our heads 
so we're, we're at just... the moment I just I just removed one of the panels and the bulkhead is uh, is just cracked on the when it meets the hole so I don't really know how that's how they fix this this is where the bolt head is yeah and he hit us dead on it but it's just ripped in there also can you see the crack in the hole here i could hear it when you pushed it outside because it, i was tapping it and it sounded like crunchy leaves like dried up leaves i was on deck and i was I stood in front of the catamaran and i just it was like a slow motion yeah i just let it come to me and the captain keep keep uh, shouting uh, guys guys i have no steer i have no steerage i have no steerage and i just wash it in slow motion there's a 60 foot catamaran and it just hit the boat dead on and the whole momentum oh. and the, the sound of the crown the, the, it's like the fiberglass was ripping i can't e explain it. it it was it was pushing everything and in i the shouted boat. Sarah, stop stop stop, stop. Oh, yeah yeah i didn't know what i didn't know what to say I, I was i was about to come upstairs i actually <laughs> wanted to just film the anchorage so I, I almost had the camera in my hand and then it just shook me the gentleman on the helm of the catamaran has been very kind like he 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 feels really bad he feels really really responsible and he kept saying if i would have just done something differently and we were just trying to to accommodate him as well obviously because um it's not his fault it's hi guys it's uh, four o'clock in the morning I just checked the bilge to make sure there was no water coming in. It seems okay. There was a the bilge pump went off a couple of times. I think there was just water from the fridge that drains into the into the bilge. I spoke to the Coast Guard just to seek for advice, and they said that uh, the best thing would be just to take the boat out of the water, just to eliminate any further damage to the vessel or put anyone in danger. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for the yard to open like at 8 o'clock and then try to take Cuba out of the water. And then we're going to contact the insurance company as well. Again, we already contacted the emergency line, but they were closed because the weekend. <sighs> yeah, the good thing is that so far, you know, just not taking on water and no one was injured. So I think we're going to take it from there and see what's going on from now. So we've been having several phone calls with our insurance in Europe. We had to wait for the customer service to open. I mean, we, we already called the emergency right when it happened, but now it's early in the morning in, in here and in Europe as well. And after quite some back and forth, because we just want to be safe with our vessel, we are now moving Cuba into the marina here close by because they just cannot they cannot haul us out at the moment. There's no no space to haul us out, not even in an emergency. I mean, it's not yet an emergency. We're not, we're taking on a little bit of water up, up, up sea and Nick has been checking last night, the bilge pumps and everything. But yeah, of course we have a crack in the hole, several cracks in the hole. And the last thing we want to do is having to move the boat out of this very shallow anchorage into the open sea because if the boat is healing to port, we will definitely be taken on water and yesterday some gentlemen some well the guys from sailing kiss <laughs> came by the couple and she is actually a naval engineer and yeah she said you need to get a surveyor and yeah um, the stress could go even into the keel it, it the boat needs to be surveyed long story short we cannot hold it out and they most likely don't have the services to repair cuba as well so the the best action that we can we can do now to like the best first step to secure the safety of us and the vessel in case the, the weather changes is to move into the marina berth um, the insurance just confirmed that there is a surveyor that they will be sending from Curaçao I believe and we will just have to take it from there they gave us a berth here but it doesn't have any <laughs> anything to tie up okay guys we just got the boat ready Take the, uh, the third 
Today the surveyor is coming. Initially they told us he's gonna be here in a week. <laughs> and now it's just this morning I contacted him and said, Oh what time are you coming next week? Oh I'm just getting a flight now. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. deck has separated from the hole so he's checking if there's any delamination so he's checking the hole he's checking the, the deck you're the captain of the boat yeah is that your cat <laughs> no he just walked onto the deck oh, wow. okay. no no so i can't what's <laughs> oh, your cat yeah yeah oh, okay. <laughs> no i was just making a joke <laughs> hey guys so we brought Cuba here to Baradero Marina just to secure her. We've closed the damages temporarily with duct tape. This is what we've been told as well by the by our insurance. It's been I'm not gonna lie guys, it's been difficult. It's been a lot of back and forth just to explain our situation. Obviously we're not the conventional <laughs> yard that goes maybe up and down the coast a little bit. Yeah, at one point I think we've been told, why don't you just go home, you know, and you, you sort it out from there, but obviously Cuba is our home, so... But here we're safe for now, so we can just uh, arrange a few things and see what's the best to move forward, because here on Aruba, obviously, it's a, it's a very tiny island, and right here next to us is the only yard where we could haul Cuba out and do the repairs. But because we're still in hurricane season, it's very difficult. They told us they can probably not start their work till December. But yeah, we're not complaining because we're still floating and every, everybody's fine, nobody's got hurt. We actually gave the guy, the other boat driver who was at fault a hug because he was actually also quite upset about the, the whole thing. Obviously he said, yeah, I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> of course. So now we're here and um, we have to just get our resources somehow. We just really, we, we, we cannot wait here in Aruba. There is some issues with our visa as well. In Aruba, you're only supposed to stay 30 days and then more regulations come into place. So we've been here for a couple of weeks. Yeah, so at the moment, I mean, the surveyor was here and looked at our damages and we have a crack ball head that's in the aft, a uh, poor side. Obviously the impact was straight onto the bulkhead and because the catamaran is 38 tons so the bulkhead just gave up and, and cracked. So it's that, that far from the hole and it extends like maybe like 30 centimeters down. And we have some delamination in all of this area here. So big delamination, all of that is delaminated so there's going to be a big hole in there in order to fix this. So the deck joint to hole joint is also uh, damaged. Uh, it's separated completely and also delaminated, so that will have to be cut completely fine where it's okay and then start fiberglassing from there and rebuild that deck to hold joint. We have the same situation on the on the bow as well. At the moment it's covered with, with tape because we don't want more water to do more damage, but we have a big area there with big delamination. Uh, we're gonna end up with a massive hole in the boat. So in order to fix this, you have to make a hole and then <laughs> you patch the hole. Scary, no? <laughs> so, and then also the same thing. The the hole to the joint is is, is, is separated, and it's, it's that much separated. So that's, that's quite a lot. It, all of that needs to be cut. The wood has to just go, and then all the tick, and then you have to start rebuilding that uh, hole, that deck to hole joint. Um, also the deck, we have to remove some tick uh, in, in the deck as well because we don't know obviously if the damage went that way because if it went that way then we're going to end up with core issues and that's going to be quite fast because obviously if it's cracked then yeah you get water in there so all of that need to be need to be addressed as well so here this part here um, i won't be able to show you because you can only see if you look from from like really uh, from like really low but if I were to put myself, if I were to press here, this area here, this tick, all of that is soft. So obviously 
that the deck. I don't know if you can. Uh, Sarah's no, she's not heavy enough. I'm not heavy enough anymore. But, but <laughs> I'm yeah. feathery now. She lost so much weight, man, since this. <laughs> um, yeah, but all of that take need to go. And then we need to see what the structural damage is in, 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 in this area there. And then, yeah, fix that.